What is it? What'd you find? What? You gonna bark at it? Is that what you're gonna do? I don't think it's gonna appreciate you barking at it. I don't think it appreciates you barking at it. What did you find? Mama. <laughs> what is it? Bro? Hollywood, is it a baby? Did you find a baby? Oh, she found a baby, all right. Let's see if we can get this baby. <laughs> no, get back. Leave that baby alone. <laughs> Stop it, you're scaring me. Will you uh, hold that for a second? Mm-hmm. You flower bucket, maybe? No? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he needs to go to the pond, Mama. To the pond, she says. We location, little man. You don't need to be here. Whoa, do you see that? What? Oh, I do now. <laughs> oh, it's just land of the creatures today, isn't it? Isn't he cute? He is a cutie. He's just a tiny little thing. Okay, guys. We're going to take Fred to the local park that has water and uh, plenty of land for him to play with and hopefully make some friends because he definitely doesn't need to be in the backyard. So, come along. You are not a friend. No, you're not a friend. No. You would hurt Fred. You would. Sir, no sir. He is not for you. Fred is not friend. They don't understand why they can't be friends with Fred. Funny. Fred doesn't understand why they want to be friends with him. Fred, you're not getting car sick, are you? I hope not. Taking it easy on you, Fred. Taking it easy. What are we doing, Jay Malin? Taking Fred home. I believe the word you're looking for is searching for the perfect spot well, for Fred. You can't put him all willy-nilly. Can you put him out willy nilly? No, you can't put him out willy nilly. He's got to have a safe spot. Got to have a safe spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fred. My friend, Fred. I'm going to get you to a safe spot. Fred. Fred. Oh, my friend Fred, I'm going to get you to a safe spot. Oh, we have potential here, Fred. Let's check this one out, Fred. Oh, yeah, Fred. We got some potential here. Fred, this looks like a good spot, buddy. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Fred? It's a pretty good swimmy spot. What do you think, Mom? I think it's a pretty good spot. Put him on the bank there and see how he does. <laughs> Mama, don't nosedive him. Sorry, Fred. Be easy with Fred. How's that, Fred? He doesn't look impressed. No, he doesn't, does he? So just for transparency here, we're not really sure 
We put him in the deeper water. He's not moving. But since we're unclear, we're doing what any normal person would do, and we are Googling that. But he just brought his head out of the water, which is good. So my guess is that Fred is just a little traumatized from the kids, barking at him, probably trying to pick him up with their teeth. And uh, just needs a minute to recuperate. He's very, very dirty, so he's probably just enjoying the bath, cool bath water at the moment. Butterfly. Squirrel. But I think Fred's going to be okay. I think he's going to be perfectly okay. You take a look for yourself. See what you think. You see Fred? No, you can't see Fred because there's a, there's a glaze on the window. Let's zoom in on Fred. As you can see, Fred seems to be enjoying his bath water very much. Oh, look at that. Doesn't Fred look awesome? It's been fun, Fred, but I'm trying to get eaten alive by skeeters, and I'm pretty sure they're about to carry me off. And it's still a trek back to the car because we had to bring you to the optimal spot. To enjoy your Fred vacation. deserves the best. Let's see. Oh, she's pissing him off now. Mm -hmm. See her? There he goes. Go, Fred, go. Go, Fred, go. Look at him go. Look at him go. That's what we needed to see. Thank you, Fred. Thanks, Fred. It's been fun, buddy. Enjoy your new, uh, new digs. Have good life, Fred. Stay out of trouble. Don't forget to write. Look at the fish coming up to him, Sam. Yep. Is he gonna get a fish? Fred's gonna try to get a fish. I'm not sure if that transfers on camera well, but he is just going to town now. Now I get a lot of glare. All the fish are surrounding him. Poor guy. You need help, Fred? I'll come in there. Think he's okay? I think he's okay, Mom. Those fish are circling him. I've seen him, but I think he's okay. I think thoroughly that Fred can handle himself at this point. Those fish are bullies. Leave him alone. They're just checking him out. Turn the other cheek, Fred. Turn the other cheek. Thankfully, your, your mama's raised you better than that. We saved him from our backyard. Now mm. he's got a bully fish. I think he'll put him in their place. He just needs to get comfortable. They're surrounding him. Don't make me come in that water. You don't mess with the uh, mama's baby. This is why we don't have children. How scalp a fish. Bye, Fred. Bye, Fred. All right. Let's Where's, go before I fillet a fish. I lost mama. There she is. Let's go before I fillet a fish. Okay. Bye, Fred. Bye, Fred. I know you probably can't see him anymore, but Fred's right in there. So now we have the hike back to the car. And I still need a shire. And you probably need a shire now. Mm -hmm. Alright. Bye, Fred. Bye, Fred. Wait a minute. Here. What? Guys. Thanks for joining us on our trek. Taking my wife home before the mosquitoes carry her off. Bye. Toodles. Did you about just back into my truck? No. Really? Because according to your little screen, you about backed into my truck. Your screen is wrong. Really? It's your screen, not mine. No, because my screen shows I have plenty of room to get around your truck. After you pulled forward and nearly gave Fred and me heart failure. Oh, you and Fred are both part llama. I'm not really sure why. Fred's not being very sociable, but he's not. He's uh, kind of being a bump in a water bowl at the moment. I don't get it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, look at that face. That's a face only a mama could love. Not this mama.